Welcome back to the Code 1098 True Crime Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. This week's case is from Franklin, Wisconsin. Sandra Eckert went missing on March 26, 2021 after she allegedly left her Franklin residence following an argument with her husband, Wes Eckert Sr. Her husband claims to have last seen her around 11.30 p.m. that Friday in their home on the 7200 block of South North Cape Road. Sandra was 70 years old and a devoted mother and grandmother, who people say would never abandon her children or grandchildren. Her husband, Wesley, has told police that he and Sandra argued over his mother's estate and that Sandra threatened to divorce him. He stated that Sandra had been drinking, so he took her car keys, and when he woke up five hours later, she and their other vehicle were gone. Her husband has told local media outlets that his mother had recently died and the argument they had was over his mother's will. Sandra wanted him to contest it and he refused. Allegedly, the last thing Sandra said to him was that he would be hearing from her lawyer. At this point, he claims to have convinced her to go upstairs and go to bed. Supposedly, he told her that they would talk in the morning. Police discovered Sandra's cell phone missing, her new iPad gone. Her purse was left behind, but the contents had been emptied out. Police conducted a search of the couple's home and didn't locate a crime scene or any evidence of a struggle. A neighbor has told police the night Sandra Eckert disappeared, she heard gunshots that could have come from the Eckert's residence. It was described as a pop, pop, pop. She stated that it was so loud she had to walk upstairs to calm her dogs down, at which time she then heard another round of pops. Wes Eckert Jr. and some of his other siblings have claimed numerous times their father threatened their mother. They have also stated that their mother had a very rocky relationship with their half-brother John. In one search warrant, it was claimed that John sent text messages to one of his siblings threatening Sandra's life. Specifically, he stated that he and his father knew bad people who could make Sandra disappear. Another text from John stated that his father's friends were seriously talking about having Sandra killed. Police did receive an anonymous tip in the few days after Sandra disappeared. The tipster claimed that Sandra's husband, Wes, was going to be picking up a bag from his son, John, and that bag would contain $10,000 in cash and possibly a gun. Franklin police did end up stopping Wesley Eckert outside the home where his son, John, was living. He was driving his wife's Jeep, and in the Jeep, police did locate a bag, and in that bag was $10,000 and a gun, just as the tipster had stated. This landed West in trouble because he was a convicted felon and not allowed to possess a gun. His felony conviction stemmed from a financial crime. He was arrested but released, and he denied having anything to do with his wife's disappearance. His own children, though, have accused him of killing Sandra. Recently, the Franklin Police Department announced that they were going to be treating this case as a homicide and not a missing persons case going forward. Two people were brought in for questioning in the case in June of 2022, but no charges were issued and their names have not been released. We do know that these individuals were known to Sandra. Franklin police have confirmed that they did execute a search warrant at a home in Waukesha, Wisconsin on June 7, 2022. In relation to charges in the case for first-degree intentional homicide and hiding a corpse, a man was arrested at the home but was later released. It is unknown what exactly he was arrested for. Eckert could have been driving a 2005 dark gray Dodge Stratus with a Wisconsin license plate 319LGT. That vehicle was last seen by Muskego police at 3 a.m. on Saturday, March 27, 2021. That would have been the morning after she went missing. According to the police, it was traveling southbound on Racine Avenue, westbound on Tans Drive, and then went southbound on Crowbar Drive. Police did not pull over the car because there was not a missing person alert out yet and no real reason to pull her over. No one knows exactly who was driving in the vehicle. Sandra is described as being 5'7 and weighing approximately 130 pounds at the time of her disappearance. She had blonde hair and has green eyes. Her phone has been turned off and there's been no activity on her credit cards or bank accounts or her social media since she went missing. Anyone with information about the disappearance of Sandra Eckert can contact the Franklin Police Department at 414-425-2000.
or Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. There is a website and Facebook page dedicated to this case. You can find it under Help Find Sandy. There is a $50,000 reward being offered by the family. Thank you for listening to Code 1098, giving you past and present solved and unsolved murders and mysteries. If you have any suggestions for a case that you would like to see featured, feel free to message us or leave a suggestion in the comments. Thanks for tuning in today. Until next week.